all right welcome to my channel just wanted to show you um, I will be using this pasta on today okay to make our sun-dried tomato I just added it in added some salt to my boiling water and just follow the instructions on the back as far as how long you should cook it I'm gonna go ahead and prep the other items and come right back I'm gonna go ahead and get my oil hot and I'll come right back to show you what I do next all right guys just wanted to go ahead and show you our pasta it is nice and cooked okay we did not overcook our pasta it is perfect I'm gonna let it sit here while we get started on our delicious delicious sauce All right, guys, to my pan, I'm going to add just a little bit of oil. And to my oil, I'm gonna also add a little bit of butter. Okay. And excuse me for the noise that's in the background. Um, we're getting our uh, master bedroom closet um remodeled so it's gonna be a little bit of noise in the background guys so we're gonna let this melt and meanwhile i want to show you the items that i will add while we're waiting for this to melt i have some sun-dried tomatoes some minced garlic red onions um fresh spinach fresh parsley and I have fresh basil, okay? These are the items that I will, uh, the vegetables that I will be using. And I'm doing this video for those that do not eat meat, because I've noticed I have a lot of pastas up, but everything has meat in it. So I try to be fair here. All right, to this, I'm gonna go ahead and add my garlic, my Roast, I'm um, sorry, sun dried tomatoes. We're just going to let these saute a little bit in our oil and butter just for a few seconds. It's already smelling delicious. All right, now, guys, I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of my vegetables and like this okay it is smelling awesome in here guys beautiful and to that I will add my homemade hot sauce just a little bit we just want a little kick in the background but you can go ahead and use your crushed red peppers. And I'm going to deglaze with white wine. I'm going to let the alcohol evaporate. So now, okay, smelling so good. It's a simple, simple dish but packed with flavors now I'm going to add my vegetable um, broth I'll just add just a little bit more vegetable broth and you can use chicken broth as well but since I'm doing it uh, with no meat I'm using vegetable broth and the broth I'm using is one that I made myself. So I did add just a little salt to it. Okay, we're going to let that cook just for a few seconds. Now to that, I'm going to add some black peppers. 
Okay, black pepper. I'm using dry oregano, making sure I pronounce my words clear uh, so I don't get any nasty comments. Um, also, I will add I will also add my Italian. <laughs> I'm really not worrying about pronouncing the words. Okay, this uh, English is my second language. All right, onion. So I think I'm doing a pretty good job speaking English. Um, garlic. I'm gonna give that a quick stir. And it's looking good already, guys. That's that's all it is. There's nothing you know difficult about this one. And the other thing, the other thing I will use is some lemon juice. I like, because see, it, it, it already has a nice color, and I hope you can see this. And we don't want, um, I'm not gonna add any tomato paste to here. So I think this is perfect, because we already have a beautiful color in our sauce. So I'm gonna just let these tomato kind of cook just for a couple more seconds, then I'll come back and show you what I do next. All right, guys. What I did was just add some organic um, grape tomatoes. I like color, so if you don't have any tomatoes, you can go ahead and add red bell peppers. But uh, since it's a tomato pasta, I went with tomatoes. All right, guys. So at this time, I'm going to go ahead and add, if you notice, I did not add any salt in here. The salt is coming from our vegetable broth, so you can taste it. And if yours need, you know, salt, just add a little salt. And also my pasta, of course, I always cook it with um, salt. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this like this. Guys, it's looking good. It has the right amount of you know heat in the background. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my last ingredient. Ingredient. I'm gonna go ahead and add my last ingredient. Which is Parmesan cheese. So I'm just gonna add just a little bit like that. And then you're just gonna go ahead and stir that in. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna plate it for you. Here is the final product, guys. It is absolutely fabulous. It is delicious, delicious, delicious. This is for all of my non-meat eaters. You would definitely enjoy this recipe. Until next time, guys, please like, comment, and do not forget to subscribe.